In a crisis epidemic sweeping across the nation, over 91 Americans are dying every day to a drug overdose. What's being done to treat those suffering from addiction? According to Dr. Ruth Poti, not enough. The world of, of medicine is all about the prescribing. And instead, the world of medicine really needs to be about what can I do to support you in the healthiest lifestyle you can. Dr. Poti explains the connection between addiction and the brain, and how dopamine levels when using spike to a point of something the brain has never seen. The reward circuit of the brain is the most elemental, ancient part of the brain, is the part of the brain that tells you to live or die. It tells you to survive today. The chemical that's racing through this reward circuit of the brain, the neurotransmitter, is dopamine. So the problem is that when the brain sees dopamine of 150 or 200, that is in keeping with the 200,000 years that we have been in this human body in this exact form. When the brain starts seeing dopamine levels of 350, 500, 900, 1300, your brain says, holy smokes, there's something wrong here. And the brain starts to down-regulate. It turns down the volume. So it stops making dopamine, it erases 80% of the receptors on the other side of the synaptic cleft, and it turns on every vacuum in sight. So when you struggle with an addiction, you wake up in the morning and your new set point dopamine is certainly not 100, it's not even 85, right? You're not even an Eeyore when you get out of bed. Your new dopamine in the morning is about a 40. When it comes to treatment, part of the problem stems from the way those with addiction are medically treated, where over-the-counter medications are overprescribed and those who overdose are simply discharged without follow-up or mental health treatment. These are miserable feeling people. And the only way that they know to make themselves feel better is to return to the behavior, to return to the substance. Her experience comes not only from her role as a family and addiction medicine physician, but also serves as the medical director for the Franklin County House of Corrections and chair of the Healthcare Solutions Opioid Task Force. It leads to this concept of a broken brain. And it is not any different than any other disease I take care of on a day-to-day -day basis. For more information or to see Dr. Poti's upcoming schedule, visit www.ruthpoti.com.